Raise your hand if anyone has ever told you you couldn't do something because you were a girl. <coughs> Gentlemen, raise your hand if you have ever told a woman her actions were limited because she was a girl. I'm not your typical 13-year-old girl. As a child, I was never one to play with Barbies or play dress up. Instead, I would rather take hikes in the woods or play soccer. To this day, I'm still not average. I would rather ride horses and run track than go shopping or wear makeup. When I was 11, my dad and I went on a day trip to Arlington Park in Illinois to watch the horse races. From the minute I saw the first race, I got this feeling inside me that I just knew this is what I wanted to do when I grew up. Sure, I would wanted to be a jockey before I went to Arlington, but seeing the races in person was so much different than watching the Triple Crown on TV. It was a very eye-opening experience. Between the races, we would go out of the grandstands to watch the horses as they were brushed, saddled, and walked around to be warmed up. And as I was watching, I saw a long braid down one of the jockeys' backs. I took a closer look and realized, hey, there's a female jockey here. Naturally, I was thrilled. I stayed until the very last race of the day, cheering for the female jockeys. There turned out to be a few of them racing that day. Near them won first, but one placed second. But the big message I got out of that day is that you don't have to be famous and well-known to be just as inspiring as the big names everyone knows. Going into Arlington Park, I had no idea I'd come out as encouraged as I did. I had expected to have a blast watching the races, but there's so much more that I learned. There's inspiration all around you. You just have to look for it. And I did. I took that powerful influence, and the next time I went horseback riding, I could just see this image of me sitting astride a tall, gleaming thoroughbred, his muscles rippling with every movement, anticipating the race. When you have that vision in your head, that's when you know you have something special, something different. From then on, I knew I wanted to be a jockey no matter what. I knew it wasn't going to be an easy task, but I had my heart set on it. I want to become an inspiration to girls everywhere, that they can do what they want, and no one can tell them that they can't because they're a girl. When I tell people that I want to be a jockey when I grow up, they laugh or smile in that little kid with a big, impossible dream way. I don't let that discourage me. Instead, I find it motivational. For every time that someone tells me I can't, the little voice in my head says I can. Will I dream of becoming a jockey to prove that I can do anything boys can? There's not much I can do about it now, other than practice my horseback riding. However, I can prove my point in other ways, like participating in sports not dominated by women. For instance, this year I decided to try archery and I was instantly hooked on this unique sport. To my surprise, balance between boys and girls in the archery program was about even. I hope to continue to practice and compete up through high school while remaining supportive of any girls who want to join. Another different sport I do is fishing. From a young age, I've always loved going up to my grandparents' cabin to fish in the lake nearby. While well, most of my family fishes, I have to say I really don't know a lot of girls that fish. When I tell someone I enjoy fishing, and they look surprised or say, oh, that's cool, I nod on the outside, but in the inside, I'm smiling. This is what I want, to prove that I'm a girl, yet doing something you wouldn't typically expect a girl to do. I think everyone should have equal opportunity to do what they want to do and be what they want to be. My ambition is to become a jockey which is mainly a man's job. Few female jockeys have had great success getting mounts because of the fact that they are girls. I don't let that discourage me. Instead, I use it as a personal goal to push myself to be unique and not care about what other people think of my dreams. So ladies, the next time someone tells you you can't do something because you're a girl, tell them that they're wrong. Tell them they're wrong because you can do it. You can do whatever you want. And gentlemen, the next time you think about telling a woman she can't do something because she's a girl, 
think twice before you speak. So even if your dream seems far-fetched or people are doubting you, just remember, gender doesn't matter and you are free to follow your dream wherever it may lead you.